Welcome back to the FOSCAM MJPEG setup guides. Uh, this setup guide is going to be going over uh, setting up wireless on your FOSCAM MJPEG camera. Uh, so let's go ahead and get uh, into it. What I'm going to do is uh, first we need to open up IP camera tool. Uh, so navigate to where it is. Usually it's in your download section. Right here I have it IP camera tool. I'm going to open it up and I do see the camera that uh, I set up in the uh, basic setup guide over here. Uh, it's currently connected by an Ethernet uh, cord to the back uh, of the camera. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open it up by double clicking on it. It's going to open up in my default browser which is Safari currently. And what I'm going to do is log in with a second login button and we're going to type in admin as my default username uh, with no password. And we're going to log in and we're going to go to device management. And in device management, you're going to see a lot of settings over here on the left side. Let's go to wireless LAN settings. And you'll see the wireless LAN settings page comes up. Uh, on this page, what we have is a wireless network list, which is when you push scan. Sometimes you have to push it twice uh, for some networks to come up. Uh, the camera is actually going to scan for wireless networks in your area uh, that you can see. And this right here, using wireless LAN, what we're going to have to do is check this. And once we check this box, uh, a few more options come down. The SSID uh, field, which is basically the name of your, your network, and the encryption that you're using. And the encryption is basically what, what type of security you're using on your, uh, on your router. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'll go, go ahead and show you both ways of doing this. The first way is uh, usually the easiest way. What we're going to do is push scan. And like I said, usually you have to push it twice. So we're going to wait scanning and we're going to scan again because it didn't show up the first time and you can see a lot of different networks came up so what we're going to do is go ahead and find ours actually it's right here FOSCAM's Wi-Fi network is the one that we actually used in the last video as well uh, to set it up initially so we're going to click this and you'll see when we click it it actually already automatically inputs uh, all the information except for the share key. And the share key is actually just your network password. So whatever password you use to connect to your wireless network at home or work or wherever it is, whatever, net whatever network you're setting this camera up on, uh, you're going to put that password in here. Okay, so the SSID we can see is the name of the network. So we have FOSCAM's Wi-Fi network, and this is actually case sensitive, so be sure that uh, it does capitalize all the letters if you do have some capital letters in here. The encryption it automatically filled in for us which is WPA2 personal AES and the share key like I said before is just a network password so uh, this is great if you can scan it and find it. The other way of doing this is manually inputting uh, this information if you can't find your network in here um, you might need to manually uh, input it in here uh, just remember you need to put it exactly as it uh, as it's stated uh, with any capital letters or anything like that. Uh, you'll need to know the encryption and the password as well. So if you don't know this information, what we can do is we can actually open it up in Mac using the airport utility. Uh, especially if you're on, uh, if, you're, if you're using actually uh, Apple products, like I, currently I'm on an Airport Express, uh, but you can also be on an Airport Extreme. They're both kind of the same type of router. Um, so what you'll be, what you'll have to do is go into applications. You're going to scroll down until you get to utilities over here. We click on utilities and what we'll be able to do is go to airport utility right here. And when I click on that, it's going to show me uh, any airport uh, routers that are connected to, um, that, that actually I'm, my computer is connected to. So right now, I'm on the uh, Airport Express right here that I said before. Uh, I'm connected uh, directly to it by wireless over here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on this. You might have Airport Extreme uh, or, or something similar. You can click on it and you can go to Edit. And actually, if you don't have an Airport Extreme or Express or if you're on a different router, I'll, I'll show you how to, how, to do, uh, how to find out this wireless information uh, after this. So let's go ahead and click edit over here. And once we click edit, another screen is going to pop up over here and it's going to have a, a, a few tabs up here. So what we're going to go to is Wi-Fi, uh, not Wi-Fi, wireless over here. And on wireless, we can see that 
the wireless network name right here. We can see it as Foscam's Wi-Fi network, just as we saw it in the camera. Wireless security, we have it over here as well. It's saying WPA, WPA2 personal. And the wireless password, and I have that currently set to Foscam123. And usually you can change it over here if you need to, if you don't know your wireless password. But if you're able to connect to your, to your wireless router, obviously you would know the password to it. So that shouldn't be an issue. So you're able to see these settings over here. And what you do is you can go ahead and enter these settings in manually if you want to. So you would be able to put in Foscam's Wi-Fi network. Just as it states over here, you would type that in. And over here where it says WPA, WPA2 personal, you'd be able to select the encryption. Usually on, on Apple products, it's always going to be AES over here. And it's if you're, if you're using WPA, WPA2, it's usually going to automate to WPA2 um, automatically. So you can go ahead and select this if you're on this encryption. If you are just using WPA2 personal, you would obviously just use WPA2 personal as it is over here. And Enterprise is actually just the same thing, so it wouldn't really matter. Um, you would only really use WPA uh, personal without the two over here if you're actually only specifically on a WPA personal uh, network. So we have WPA2 personal over here selected, that's fine. And what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and type in the share key or the password, which is FOSCAM123. And we can actually close out of this because we don't need this anymore. And now that I put in the password, I'm going to click a submit. And when I click submit, uh, there's going to be a countdown that starts, and the camera actually has to start uh, rebooting. So it, it gets all the, the settings that you entered for wireless. Uh, it submits that to the camera, and then the camera has to uh, allow those settings, and then it changes it in the, in the camera, and then it starts uh, rebooting to uh, apply those settings. So what's going to happen is your camera is probably going to start rotating automatically, uh, again, like it does when you power it on for the first time. And when the countdown goes down, what you'll see is go ahead and open up IP camera tool again. You should have it already open, maybe in the background. If you didn't have it open, you can go ahead and open it. Uh, so the camera rebooted, but the thing is it's still connected to uh, the router with the Ethernet cord because we didn't take it out yet. So what we're going to go ahead and do right now is we'll leave the camera plugged in, but we'll go ahead and take the Ethernet cord out of the back. So when I do this, you'll see the camera disappear from the IP camera tool, like it did just now for me. So right now what it's doing is, if you look on the back of your indoor camera, most likely you're going to see uh, the red and green light are steady right now. And then the green light will probably go off for a second or two, and then what you're going to see is the green light is going to start flashing pretty fast. And you'll see actually the camera will start coming up once you see that uh, flashing again. And we have it right here, so that's great. So we see that the camera came up with this uh, IP address, 10.0.1.4 for me, uh, which is great because this is what I want to use. But uh, if you did set up wireless and, and it came up like this, but it, it might actually show up with a different IP address. If you want to keep the, keep the same IP address you were using on Wired, what you would have to do is just right-click, go to Network Configuration, you can go ahead and change it to whatever you wanted to. This last number right here, maybe it was at like 2 or 3 or whatever it was. You can go ahead and, and change that, and then just push OK, and the camera will reboot again, um, and then it will come back with that, uh, with that same IP address that you wanted to use that you just inserted. So I'll go ahead and push Cancel because I didn't want to change anything. And it looks like the camera is, is running great, so we do see it on here. Uh, it is on the network, and if I go over here and I just want to refresh, we'll see if it comes up, and it does. So we'll log in again. And great, so we can go to device management, we can go to wireless LAN settings, you'll see it is using the wireless LAN, and the information is here. We'll go to live video, and we can see, we can move it around and it's working wirelessly right now and there's no ethernet cord so uh, once, it, it's, once it's confirmed that it's working like this you can go ahead and unplug it, you can go take it to uh, whatever location you want to bring it to um, you can plug it in over there and uh, once you do that uh, you will be able to uh, see the camera again once it's plugged in and it's, uh, it's working um, and you can come back to your computer and go ahead and 
do the port forwarding guide, uh, which is after this. But if you are on a different uh, network, if you're uh, running on a on a different uh, router or you know that's not Apple based, what I'll show you right now is how to actually access uh, a different type of uh, a network. So let's say I had a Linksys router or I had a D-Link router or something like that. So what I could do is if I join uh, one of my other networks over here that we use for demo testing. What I can show you is how to actually log into the router to uh, find out what settings you have. So right now I'm connected to a different network called Cam Demo. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to applica uh, uh, Applications, Utilities, and if I go to Airport Utility, and most likely it's not going to bring up anything because the router over here is not an airport based router. So what I actually have to do is if I click X, what I'm going to do is go into System Preferences. I'm going to go to Network. And we'll see I'm connected to Wi-Fi again. So we'll go ahead and go to Advanced. Go to TCP IP over here. And then I can see my router IP address is actually different than what I was using on my Apple uh, Express, Airport Express. It's For this one, it's 192.168.11. So this information, these numbers, what I can do is copy this. I'll exit out of this. I can open up Safari. And what I'll do is I will paste this in here. And I'll push Enter. And when I do that, I'm actually logging into uh, my Linksys router, and you can see I'm logging into a Linksys AEA2700. And usually your username and password for the router will be default unless you change it. Um, and if you changed it, you probably changed it when you were setting up your internet uh, for the first time, so you'll have that information on hand. But I believe for Linksys, uh, the default username and password is admin admin. So I'll go ahead and enter that, and it did let me in, which is great. So over here, I'll be able to see, if I go to wi the wireless tab over here, I can actually see what, in what information I'm running on. And you'll see over here, the same information that we, we needed before, the SSID. That's over here, cam demo. The security mode is WPA2 personal, which is great. So that would we would use that for uh, our camera when we're setting up wireless. And you'll usually use EAS, or AES, I'm sorry. And the passphrase, which is the share key, the same thing, the password that you use to connect to this uh, network, yours will be different, but the one that we use is Wi-Fi 1003 for this one. So you'll see when, when you're getting information for uh, a router that is not based on, on Apple, like Airport, uh, Express, or Extreme, you'll have to do it this way. You'll just put the router information into the browser like this, 192.168.11, that we found from the uh, network settings. You can put it in a browser, you can push Enter, and you log into your router this way and you'll be able to find out your wireless settings here. So that concludes the wireless setup guide. Um, for the next guide what we're going to have to do is do port forwarding so if you're in a router like this that's not Apple based you'll have to look around for uh, port forwarding and for Linksys routers it's usually under applications and gaming. And You'll see single port forwarding over here and port range forwarding with this, which is correct and you'll see we do have our information here for our cam demos that we have live right now. Uh, and if you are on an Apple-based uh, router, what you'll have to do is go to Applications, go to Utilities, open up Airport Utility, and you'll be able to do the port forwarding from here if you're connected to an uh, Airport Express or Extreme router or anything similar. So we'll go ahead and go into that into the next video, and we'll see you there.